Welcome in this video tutorial of modeling ship hulls with the rapid hull modeling methodology. In this video tutorial I will explain more about the curves which are the input for the end surface result. What's very important in this method is the position of the curves. So you can adjust the length of the ship by dragging the curves to another position. Furthermore, you can adjust, for example, the beam of the ship by selecting all curves. Go to the transform menu, scale one direction, and as you can see over here, the Y value is 7500 millimeters and I can make it for example smaller type in 7000 millimeters so the half beam of the ship will be 7 meters also you can edit curves at control point level by switching on the control points and for example change the shape of the stern curve and by selecting both control points of the duplicate curves you can change both curves exactly the same. If I'm satisfied with the result I can use another feature of Rhino to create a surface by switching on record history. I'm now going to select all curves, go to the surface menu and use loft. In this option menu we have to use the loose option because that's crucial for this methodology and it's advised to use do not simplify which is the default setting. So I will switch OK and we see the end result. As I activated the record history button, there is now a direct relation between the input curves and the end result. So if, for example, the hull is too long, I can easily select the curve and make the hull shorter. This is very powerful to be able to edit the hull shape afterwards. As you can see I'm not dragging the curves, but it's also possible, for example over here, to switch on the control points of this curve and manipulate the size of the bulbous bow. This is the basic concept between the rapid hull modeling methodology and I wish you a lot of fun trying out yourself. Thank you for watching.